So if you've clicked on this video, you've probably spent hours trying to figure out how to get your secure boot working and well, you've accomplished not that. I also know some of you have probably given up trying to get it working already as well. So now in case you're skeptical, um, I'm making big promises here. Three years ago, I posted these three videos. I know a lot of you are probably coming from those videos, which now have almost 5 million views. Things have changed since then. The way to get it done now is a lot easier. It takes just a couple of steps, but I feel like people aren't actually explaining that in, in enough detail. People are trying to make it really, really complicated. We're going to go through different motherboards. Uh, we, we've got a Gigabyte board, we have an Asus board, and we have an MSI board. This video isn't going to be like your typical click here, click there, turn this off, enable that, and then voila, secure so it's working. That's not the point of this video. I'm just trying to explain to you the basic steps, the actual way you're supposed to do it to get secure boot enabled. What you want to start with, you have to convert your drive from MBR to GPT. MBR is master boot record, which is for old legacy versions of Windows and other operating systems. Once you've changed the partition table over to, to GPT, you can then enable secure boot. The problem you're going to run into, if you just try and do it straight away, you might run into problems like, oh, CSM is, is still on and it's not letting me change secure boot. Uh, go and enable secure boot and then you go back into the BIOS and it's still off. Go back into Windows and it says disabled or not on in Windows. What the next step should be for everyone is update your BIOS. The solution is enable GPT. So convert your drive from MBR to GPT and then straight after you've done that, just update your BIOS. By updating your BIOS, all the manufacturers now have a version of the BIOS where it is set up for you already. Now, I know so some of you you are skeptical about this whole BIOS update thing because you've seen Reddit pages telling you that, oh, updating your BIOS is going to kill everything. It's not. BIOS updates are put in place to improve compatibility with your computer. None of the BIOS man manufacturers have, have done it to, to make things worse. It's only going to make things better. It's quite an easy process anyway. I mean, I mean, I might be a bit biased, but I'm going to show you how to do that on, on these three different motherboards. Essentially, the only thing you should have to do, convert your drive from MBR to GPT, update your BIOS, all the settings will be applied automatically. We're gonna jump straight in and I'll show you first on the Gigabyte motherboard. Uh, I'm just gonna go and check the system information and as you can see, I have secure boot and supported at the moment. Then I go and check over to see whether I'm partitioned as MBR or GPT. If we have a look, you can see that this is also partitioned as MBR. So first thing we're gonna need to do is change this over to the GPT format. Just head into command prompt, type these commands in, in that order, and you should be able to convert the drive from MBR to GPT. And then if we just go back and check disk management, you can see here that uh, it's now set to uh, GPT. The next thing I'm doing is just going to the motherboard website because we're going to download the latest BIOS. I've got a B760 MDS3H right now that I'm doing this on. So once we're on the website, we're going to go to the support page and then find the latest BIOS under the BIOS tab and then download that from there. Once it's downloaded, we're just going to extract the file and then you can see we want to use this file just here drag that onto your desktop and then take your usb drive put it into the computer and then we're going to drag that file onto your desktop i'm just going to restart the computer and as it's restarting quickly start pressing the delete key on your keyboard on a gigabyte motherboard you want to go to easy mode and then you can go through quick access at the bottom and uh, get into the, the update section. But on all Gigabyte motherboards, if you just press F8 on your keyboard, you'll be able to get into the BIOS update area. From there, just go and find your drive at the bottom. And once you found it, you should be able to see the BIOS file. We're going to click next, and then we're going to update the BIOS file from there. So we're just going to let the computer do its thing. It's now running the update and we're going to load back into Windows. And then in this case, Secure Boot's not on just yet, as you can see, but we do have UEFI enabled now. That is thanks to the BIOS update. What we're going to do is just head back into the BIOS, go to our boot menu and scroll down to find Secure Boot. Enable Secure Boot because it hasn't been done automatically by the, the BIOS update. And then just come down to secure boot mode, change that to custom, reset your factory keys, and 
press yes on the warning. And then you'll get another weird warning which says reset without saving, but we do want to save, so press no on that one. The last thing you want to do is press F10 on your keyboard, and this will restart the computer. You'll get back into Windows, and then if we go and have a look at our secure boot state now, we can see that it's it's on and we're all sorted. So just jumping over to the MSI board now, you can see I've got a H610M-E. Um, so we're just gonna be out with the Gigabyte board and then in with the MSI board, get it all connected up and we're gonna use our good old trusty shorting out the power switch to get it turned on. Now, I almost forgot to plug the display port in, but we got there in the end. After switching it on, we can see that secure boot is off as we haven't updated the BIOS on the MSI board yet. Our GPT is still enabled as we already did that over on the Gigabyte board. I'm using the same drive, so um, go back and just check that first part on the Gigabyte board if you um, haven't got GPT enabled. We're just gonna head to the board website as we did before and go to the support page at the top and make sure you're on the BIOS and just go and download the latest one, which should be at the top of the page. We'll just let that download and then we're gonna extract it as we did before. And then we're gonna take our USB, plug that into the motherboard and then drag the BIOS file over to the USB drive. Restart the computer and we wanna to go to mFlash in the bottom left here, press yes to go into the menu and then we're going to click on our BIOS file and then press yes again to start the update. The update's going to go through. Once it's complete, it will automatically restart back into Windows. As I mentioned earlier, the secure boot state is gonna be on automatically on the MSI boards as they already have all the settings applied in the latest BIOS. So moving over to the Asus board, we have a Prime B550 Plus. And again, out with the MSI board, in with the Asus board. We're going to plug it all in. And we're going to just use our trusty old uh, shorting the power switch to get it switched on. And I did forget to put the M.2 drive in, so we got there eventually. Um, we're going to check system information. And our secure boot, as you can see, is off. Um, GPT is enabled because we did that on the Gigabyte board earlier. So just go back and double check how to do that. On the Asus page, go over to support and we're gonna look for the BIOS file. So just go over to drivers and tools and then click on BIOS and firmware. And then we're gonna go and download the latest BIOS from there. Going to extract that onto our downloads and then take your USB drive. And we're just gonna drag that onto the USB drive like we have with the other boards. Restart your computer and we're gonna press delete to get into the BIOS. Once in there, go to advanced mode, go over to tools at the top and then click on easy flash. And then we're just gonna select the BIOS file and click yes a few times to start the update. Once the update's done, you might get this error message. Just press the letter Y to reset FTPM. And then it might ask you to go into the BIOS as well. So, so you just go into the BIOS and then press F10 to save and exit. And in this case, uh, the Asus board doesn't automatically enable secure boot. So we're just gonna pop back into the BIOS and we're going to go to advanced, then go to boot, go to secure boot, and just change our OS type from other OS to Windows UEFI. And then when we go back into Windows, you'll see that our secure boot is now enabled. That's all that I have for you today. We've gone through three different motherboards. If I missed anything, please ask in the comments. I will try and do my best to answer them. So go and ask in the comments. This should have resolved the problem for most of you now. So if it's helped, please subscribe. I try my best to make these useful videos. I mean, there's not much more to say other than good luck.